So of course the Warriors extended Jordan Poole to a big contract earlier today, but in addition to this, the Warriors also extended Andrew Wiggins to a four-year, $109 million contract. And in addition to that, of course, the player option that he has, this will basically lock him up as a Warrior for five years and being paid $143 million. But the main contract, of course, the four years, $109 million extension. The Warriors, you know, are just making money moves to keep this core together. This team that won a championship, and I'm not going to say pretty easily because there were challenges, but, you know, when they were healthy, when they were together, the Warriors were pretty unstoppable. And so the Warriors are, you know, making massive moves here to keep this team together. Um, and so, yeah, the, you know, the payroll right now is $483 million. I don't know how they're doing this, I'll be honest, but it's not complaining. It's crazy. Um, of course, Andrew Wiggins, big part of our team. Uh, his mid-range shooting, his, you know, driving, his dunking. I mean, really, he's a great player all around. His defending is elite. He was an all-star last year for the first time ever. He was actually an all-star um starter which was great for him and you know Andrew Wiggins big part of this core um, similar to uh, to Jordan Poole like I don't think we would have been able to win a championship if it weren't for him I thought you know if Curry doesn't win finals MVP Andrew Wiggins is going to he was huge on defense he was huge shooting wise he was very much big part of this team and a big part of the roster and you know when we acquired him in 2020 in a trade with the Minnesota Timberwolves I wasn't super, you know, excited about it. I thought, you know, okay, we're getting rid of D'Angelo Russell, who provided short-term success, and, you know, this ended up being probably, you know, not to exaggerate, but probably the best trade in our franchise history, getting, you know, basically Jonathan Kaminga and, you know, Wiggins. And Wiggins has been amazing for us, you know, last year especially. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a solid three-point shooter. He averaged 17.2 points last year per game course an all-star starter like I said had a great season go-to player I mean when we needed scoring we looked to Wiggins and you know I just think he was an integral part of this offense um, and the defense too like without him on defense our defense wouldn't have been that strong I feel like he him and you know Gary Payton the second who fortunately isn't with us anymore but you know it was just a very strong team on def on you know the defensive end which is the thing the Warriors haven't necessarily been known for in the past years and so I'm so happy we locked up Wiggins. This kind of came out of nowhere. I knew pool contracts were being talked about, but Wiggins, like, I, I was worried about him getting traded. And, you know, I talked about this months ago, but the debate was coming, you know, is it going to be Jordan Poole we're going to keep or Andrew Wiggins? Can we afford to keep both? And I guess we can. You know, I think the big question mark now is Draymond Green's future, which, you know, is also controversial with the whole fight thing. But for now, I'm just focused on winning and I'm focused on keeping the guys who helped us win and our roster for a while and it's going to be that way with Wiggins and Poole signing today so anyways guys let me know your thoughts on Wiggins signing a four-year 109 million dollar contract with us it's an extension that will keep him with the team for basically five more years because he has the player option so I'm really excited and we'll see you guys later go Warriors